Uh, we're a 37-year-old company, uh, focused since about the mid-80s on wireless test equipment, mm -hmm. setting up well, different uh, tower sites with receivers and transmitters to do propagation analysis to improve coverage and, and find interfering issues. So we've been focusing on that core product line for, mm -hmm. for a number of years now, and developing into the newer standards such as WiMAX, LTE, in mm -hmm. more recent times. And we're able to use the uh, same products both in the US and the European markets. Perhaps I'd come on and actually show you some of the things that we're featuring here at the show. This is a brand new uh, detection system we have called the Wolfhound Pro, which is designed to work both in the European and in the US markets. It's aimed at uh, the correctional facilities, for example. Here we can see the same device which is set up for the US market. And what we're actually seeing on screen here is uh, all of the RF power from cellular phones which are transmitting within this hall, shall we say. It's giving us some indication of the frequency, it's giving us some indication of where they are, how far they are away from us. What is this used for? It's aimed at going out and looking for illegal cell phones within a prison, for example. This is a directional antenna which sits on the top here. Its whole setup has been to make it as easy to use as possible for the, shall we say, inexperienced operator to go out, find the phone and be able to confiscate it. We also have other versions of this which are body worn for situations where it might not always be safe for the water to be seen to be actually measuring through the prison, for example. We've also just launched at this show a brand new receiving system called the Gazelle, which I'm showing here. This is a uh, modular four channel system that can be used for measuring frequencies anywhere from 140 megahertz up to 5.9 gigahertz. We've been approached by many federal customers and they have to secure a facility via a secure skiff, uh, they want an entrance at a facility, no phones allowed, be it Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth or regular uh, mobile phones. Mm -hmm. So we developed a very focused, low-cost, effective tool, again the Wolfhound series, mm -hmm. that allows you to find these unauthorized phones or you could actually fixate a, a wall-mounted version of mm -hmm. it or, or scan 24-7 and then it's power over ethernet sends back to a, to a central computer and sends the alerts to the uh, corrections officer. This is our uh, introduction product here at the Mobile World Congress, the LTE Yellowfin Scanner. It's available in uh, two different bands that are very popular for the uh, service providers and carriers. It uh, is offered in 700 megahertz to 2.2 gigahertz as well as a model that covers 2 gigahertz to 5.9 gigahertz and it covers both TDD and FDD and it's used for a drive study so they could build out the networks and uh, measure sinar, the signal strength, see if there's any uh, multipath effects as well as doing spectrum analysis to see if there's any interferers. It's a software defined radio that is truly portable, integrated GPS system on it as well and uh, could be used for vehicular drive studies or even for in-building to measure the coverage of LTE networks as they're rapidly being deployed around the uh, globe. Well, we're always looking to new standards. That's one thing. As, as you know, WiMAX is hot, we're looking at LTE. As LTE is hot, we're looking for the next new blockbuster technology. We usually need about a two to three year cycle to start our development efforts before they actually become something where they start doing test trials out there. So mm -hmm. we have to always be doing the research, looking ahead and, and finding what that next technology may be.